Hello, this is Steph's Movies and Music. Well, that's the channel. That's not me, but like, you get what I'm saying. This is Steph. Um, welcome back to Steph's Movies and Music. This is all the vinyl I've gotten over the past, well, really two and a half months, but this is going to count for April as well. Um, I don't know if I'll upload this at the end of April or not. We'll see what I end up doing. These are all organized from uh, newest to oldest. And the first one isn't vinyl, actually. It is a uh, laser disc. It is of Roger Waters' The Wall, and it was recorded on Saturday, 21st, July, 1990. I assume it was recorded at The Wall. I th I'm pretty sure it was already demolished at that time, so I guess the site of the wall, you know, what's, what's whatever's left of it. I haven't gotten it out yet. I assume there's not any scratches. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and check. All right, um, yeah. There is some smudging on the side though, and I don't know what that's about. I don't know if that's bad. I don't know if that's normal. Um, maybe if only you guys know anything about laser discs or CDs in general. If this is a bad thing, all this black smudging on the bottom or not. But cool. It's, it feels so substantial, you know. Oh man, people are home. Okay, well, we might have to pause here for a second. Next we have Phil Collins, No Jacket Required. This was released in 1985. This, I believe, is a 12 times platinum selling album. Uh, good old Diamond and good old Phil. And you have Sisolito. What is it? One More Night. Um, I don't know. Uh, Take Me Home is a really good one. There's probably another single on there. At this point, he was, he was really, um, he was on fire at this point. The next album is The Police, Synchronicity. I don't know if I've been mentioning prices, but this is $15. This was released in 1983. This is one of those weird ones that this is actually the front. Well, no, hold on. All right, so this is the front. Everything's sideways and also weird. I hate it. And they also put this on wrong, but that's okay. I understand what they were thinking. They were like, let me reach through the sleeve so I could actually get the album too without taking the sleeve off, the protective sleeve. Anyway, this is a eight times platinum selling album, which, and then also their final album. I'm sure all of you know that the police did it the right way. Not necessarily the right way, but um, they achieved that height that was like literally their peak. And then they're like, okay, I don't know if this was on purpose or not, but they were like, let's go, we're, we're done. I actually think it was just a coincidence though. I don't know for sure. I haven't watched any interviews on it, but I'm, I'm pretty sure tensions were rising within the band. So then that's probably why they called it quit. All right, so next we have Face Dances from The Who. This is from 1981. This is a platinum selling album, I believe. I think they have like 10 albums and I think I'm, I might go try to get them all because I like The Who. I think it's because they don't have so many. Like I would get every Rolling Stones album, but I don't love them that much. And they have like 30 albums. Elton John also has like 33, 34 studio albums. But I absolutely love them. Like that man could make me his piano bench. What have you done to me, you fucking bitch? British people are just awesome, you know? I don't know if it's like the accent or what, like, but they're just phenomenal. If you're British and you're subscribed to me, I love you. Okay, next is the Rolling Stones Tattoo You. This was 20 bucks, and this was probably the most expensive one of that month. Yeah, it was. It's typical of the Rolling Stones. They, their albums go for a little bit. This has Start Me Up on it, a little TNA. There's probably another single on there that I, that I don't know of. And this is also 1981. So we actually kept pretty much in the 80s. Talking about British people, they were all British artists. Jeez, that was not on purpose. All right, well, that will not be the same for the next month. We only have two for March, and I bought them 
at Vintage Vinyl, which I don't go there very often, but I had a gift certificate from Christmas or maybe my birthday. It wasn't my birthday because I purchased them before my birthday. Um, and I purchased them on the same day as the Al King concert, which you will be seeing videos from probably within the next month, probably, will be when those debut. But anyway, um, the first one we got is Kansas Left Overture. No, this is Points of No Return, not Left Overture. I don't know if I have Left Overture. I might have that one. Um, this has Points of No Return, of course, Portrait He Knew, and Dust in the Wind. Oh, and Nobody's Home. Wow, I like that one a lot. Um, my family is about to come in. So I'm probably gonna have to tell them to shut the fuck up. This is a four times platinum, quadruple platinum selling album, 1977. Hi. Hi. Gotta do what? I have to go poo. Poo poo. He's going poo. Thanks for coming in the house and let me know. Um, next is Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band. This is Against the Wind. This is 1980. We got Her Strut, No Man's Land, I think was a single. Against the Wind was a single. Fire Lake. Yeah, this is a good album. This is a, I think it's also a quadruple platinum selling album. There you go, that's March. And next we have April. I actually haven't organized these from oldest to newest, so let me do that. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. I fall down. All right, so we're moving on to the albums that I got throughout April. Obviously April it has not ended yet, but I know damn well that I'm not gonna get any more Buy any more albums for the rest of April because I have too much other stuff to take care of first. But anyway, the first one is Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band, Night Moves. This came out in 1976. I'm sure I don't need to tell you, but this is a very iconic album. It has Night Moves on it, of course. Uh, Rock and Roll Never Forgets, which is probably my favorite song on this album. They also got the Fire Down Below and Sunburst. And I think that's all of the singles on the first. And they're all on side one too, which is, some albums do that, all the singles on one side. And then all the B sides are on the other. So there's that. Um, moving on to, this is also 1976. This is Presence from uh, Led Zeppelin. I think this was their last studio album, I think. I think. I think they disbanded in 1980. There might have been another one in there. Oh, and by the way, since, because I do this all the time, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band Night Moves, that was certified, I think, six times platinum by now. And it is certified triple platinum, which is, I think, the lowest certification for any Led Zeppelin studio album. Most of them are certified diamonds because, you know, all right, and then speaking of Certified Diamond, we got Fleetwood Mac Rumors. This is, I think, in the top five. It's definitely top ten, but it might even be in the top five best-selling albums, studio albums, ever. Dreams, Don't Stop, Go Your Own Way, uh, The Chain, You Make Love and Fun, and Gold Dust Woman. Very, 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 very iconic album and I'm glad I I had this in my collection at one point but then I gave it to a person as a friend and now we're no longer friends so I want my album back. I've also been trying to get this album for a very very long time. Van Halen one. Uh, this has and uh, this is 1978 and in case I didn't mention Fleetwood Mac Rumors was 1977. So you really got me Jamie's crying running with the devil. <laughs> Ain't talking about love, feel your love tonight. Atomic Punk, I think, might be pretty notable. Eruption, of course, and Ice Cream Man is kind of a, a deep cut for sure, but any huge 
Van Halen. Well, any huge um, David Lee Roth fan would probably really like Ice Cream Man. I think it's kind of weird, but I also think Diamond Dave's pretty weird. Oh, bomb, de bomb, de bomb. Ooh, the people be bumping. Anyway, this is a Diamond selling album. I think it is just 10 times platinum, so Diamond right on the dot. All right, and then 1983, we're getting into the 80s here. And this is also the last one of the month and the video. This is Styx, Kilroy Was Here. Kind of an infamous album, I think. This is like the so-called album that kind of broke up Styx in a way. I think they did break up after this album. I think. I don't know for sure. I don't think their next album was until like 1990, which is seven years after this album came out. This has Mr. Roboto, of course. Um, don't Let It End. And there's also a reprise version of Don't Let It End at the very end. So they, they really didn't want to let it end, I guess. And this is a platinum selling album. Um, hopefully that video did okay. I managed to get a lot of albums that I have been, been dying to get into my collection. Mainly The Police, Synchronicity. I mean, all of these have their own reasons to be owned, which is why I got them. I've been wanting to get Point of No Return from Kansas for quite some time. Also Van Halen 1 and Rumors I've been wanting to get for a while. And also Night Moves from Bob Seger. The rest of them I've been wanting to get, but like not as much of a priority, but I'm still glad I have them now all the same. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.